Congratulations, you have made it. Well, almost. In this tutorial, we are going to be adding the ability to upgrade the weapon, because what is an RPG without weapon upgrades? I'll go through four upgrades for the sword. With health, experience, and upgrades, we are near perfection. And then I will leave it up to you to build out, add more levels, add more experience options, add more weapon upgrades, enemies, so on and so forth. Make sure you tell me about what you're building and how awesome it is in the comments. Remember, all the assets are in the description, and let's get started. And here we are back at our code. Let's get to work adding in the ability to upgrade our weapon. And I'm gonna use the method that we did for the gateway. Sometimes, instead of it spawning a gateway, let's have it spawn a weapon upgrade. So let me I copy and paste this code and change it up. So we have a Boolean and then we're gonna have a Sprite for our upgrade. And again, just like is gateway, just like we did with the gateway, I'm gonna be doing something similar all the way throughout this code for the weapon. And we wanna invoke so after the explosion or that fire animation we set up, we want to invoke a function. We haven't written this yet. We're about to. That will make the weapon appear for us. Oh, yeah, this is upgrade. OK, and here's get gateway. So now it's get gateway weapon, because when this is ran, we can also check to see if the item was a weapon. And let's see. Yep, same way. Let's see if it's the weapon sprite. And then we're going to do something else other than load level because we're not going to load any level for the weapon. Yeah, instead we want to get the weapon component. Oh, we'll get the weapon and then get it script because we're going to house the different weapons inside of the actual game object that is the weapon. So we don't have this written up yet, but we will weapon upgrade. And then what we'll need to do now is destroy the actual item. Actually, maybe I'll leave that there for now. And just as we did with the gateway, we're going to set the weapon. I think my uh, variable maybe is funny <laughs> and set it to true. So that allows the game manager to to establish that an item's a weapon and then gateway as well. Yeah, there we go. And there's our open weapon. And weapon upgrade. Let's make sure to save all of this. Did I add? Yeah, we need a float for the damage. And we're going to use that because of, well, I'll show you. Oh, and else. But if we use float for the damage, we need to fix health. Yeah, there we are. Because the weapon upgrade, I want flexibility to make a weapons upgrade not be like a full one. Maybe it's 0.4 or something like this. Let me make the upgrade public so we can access it. All right. Now let's see. We're going to declare this array here for upgrades under weapon because we're going to store the actual possibilities of weapon upgrades within the game object itself and then we're going to use a sprite index variable to keep track of which weapon the user has in their hand and then we wrote this function well we called it already but we need to actually make it upgrade weapon And we want to do upgrades dot length minus one because we want to make sure our index values go from zero to three, for instance. And we want to make sure we don't go outside of the index since it starts at zero and then sprite index plus plus. So we'll just keep changing up their weapon until they hit the max upgrade. 
But if they do hit the max upgrade, their sprite won't change, but we could keep increasing the power of their weapon. So let's get the component, the sprite, yep, and there we go. There we switch it out. Now the if is to protect us to make sure we don't upgrade past the length of the sprites array. And here we're adding to the weapon's power is 0.4 each time. And using a float there means we don't get ridiculously powerful. It's a it's a good idea. And I'm starting the weapon to be equal to one. And let's take a look now at the weapon collider. So the take damage one isn't going to be working for us because we are now going to be using a float and that damage is going to change based on the user's weapon upgrades. So we want to declare yep, weapon damage. And now I'm going to grab the parent because remember, this is the weapon collider. So the parents, the weapon script, and I want to grab that public uh, variable. Yeah, the there we go, the weapon power. Oh yeah, I'm grabbing, there we go. I'm grabbing weapon power, I'm using weapon damage. There we are. And there it syncs up for us. The only issue here is that take damage is not, um, it still doesn't have a float, right? We fixed it in the spawner, but not in the enemy. So let's make sure take damage for our enemy is now a float, because again, that damage is going to be the power of the weapon, and the weapon's power can now be a float. So then we have to cor fix the corresponding health variable. There we go, they're both floats. And then what do we got in here? Get gateway, yeah. So we don't want to call it just gateway. We just need to add weapon to this because remember we changed the name of the function because now it looks for the gateway and the weapon. And so I'm going to use this random and then I'm going to set it to set weapon just for testing. Here we go. And then I'm going to always set it equal to zero. So we might not get a stare. Actually, we won't. So now it's going to definitely spawn a weapon in for both spawners. And that's just for testing. We're not going to leave it like that. Let me add a comment to remind myself. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead now and we need some to do some editing of the enemy script, save, and head towards enemy. Now within enemy, we're going to be using the level, right? Because we use the level to increase the strength of our spawners. So we're gonna use the level to increase the strength or the health of our enemy as well. All right, let me get current level, we'll call it. And we're gonna grab it from uh, the game manager. Right. And so we already have the level over here in the game manager and it's used to increase the strength of the spawner. We want access to the level. So instead of making it public, let's just do a public function that will return the level and that will be an int because level is an integer. That looks great. And now with that in place, let's randomize. Well, not randomized. Let's add to the enemy's health as the player continues to go in the game. Because if they go go forever and ever, well, we want some of it, somewhat of a challenge. We want the enemies to become more difficult. And game manager, get component. And since the game manager variable is literally the game manager already, the script of it, we can just directly grab that get level function, well, method, and set that equal to health plus, here we go. Now 
So whatever health is set e equal to by default, minus 5, we're going to add 0 0.1 times the level. And so slowly, they will get difficult, or 0.2 or 0.3. It depends how difficult you want to make it. Oh, yeah, we won't need that. this variable. OK, done. Let's take a look. And let's go ahead and fill out this array of weapon sprites. And I'm just going to use these claymores. Make sure to type in sprite here like I did. OK, uh, zero will be our default, our usual one. And ooh, three is fancy. Now I'm going to need to switch up the pivot points on all of these weapons like we did with the original, right? I've actually already done it on mine. I skipped ahead. I cheated. But literally what we're doing is what I'm just showing you here. We drag it to the base and you can set the custom pivot point zero zero right there. And that's what you need to have happen for this to work correctly and hit apply. I've already done it on all four of mine through the magic of the YouTubes. So we want to go ahead and add the weapon upgrade icon for our spawn point. And I really liked, you could use a weapon itself, but I was really liking, ooh, maybe this one. I just searched for weapon. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, we'll drag that. Yep, great. Ooh, our beginning scene's awesome. Let's see. So keep in mind, these should both, yep, we know we were going to get a weapon because we set it up the test. Now we got a staircase though, because the stairs will always present first, because if a statue is a staircase, it ignores the weapon. It checks first for being a staircase because you have to have staircases to keep going in the game, right? It's the way to get to the next level. Weapons are less important. So we prioritize staircases and it makes the weapon upgrades more rare. Let me jump around all here just to be confusing. Let's see. I'm looking for. Yeah, this is what. So I'm also going to randomize the weapon. I think those are two broken students. And I'm going to give them a zero to five chance. So zero to five shot that the weapon will appear. And keep in mind, that's only if it is not the same as the gateway, because the gateway supersedes this. So if it's equal to three, then. Then we'll randomize the amount of spawners that you have. And it can possibly be one of those. So makes it much more rare. That's good. That's the challenge of a game. Now, this isn't necessary because we check for the gateway after. So let me just get rid of that second. If. I was just trying to prevent it from uh, being both a gateway and a weapon, but it won't matter because the gateway check comes first and wins out. All right, that looks good. Let's see, let's save. And take a look here. Build settings, we got all that. Yep, we got our scenes. Let's build it out. Let's play it for real. 
801. Put it in a folder in case I keep adding to this. All right, there it is. Yes. Definitely made with Unity. Ah, uh, here's our awesome title scene. All right. And oh, uh, uh. hello, zombies. Die. Is this a, ah, that's not good. <gasps> Upgrade. This is awesome. Look at him go. Oh, I don't even remember this statue. Uh, go to the stairs. Oh, okay. Kill, kill, kill. Get that one. Get that one. Get out of How's my ex Ooh, I'm doing pretty good on experience. Level two. Come here. Ah, die. Die, 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 die. Oh, staircase. I want to check for an upgrade, though. Let's see if we... Let's see if we can luck out here for... Yeah. Oh, ah, ah. So I still don't have anything happen when you die just to demo this. I'm a cheater. And look, we could keep going if... Uh, maybe I'm going to go change my health. I need more health. This is hard. Awesome, though. We have a super, super awesome game. And I hope you've had fun making it as much as I have. Make sure to hit like and hit subscribe. It does give me warm fuzzies. Also, make sure to tell me about your game in the comments. I'd love to hear from y'all all the awesome things you have made.